Hi guys, another day in the vlog. Um, I'm sitting on my dress in my room. But today happens to be the last day for my long weekend. If you watch my last vlog where I mentioned that um, I had a four day holiday, extended weekend and today is Monday. Been up to a couple of things. I had promised myself that today, today, I am not going anywhere. But you know how these things happen. I was meant to visit a new subscriber yesterday, being Sunday. But somehow, I didn't get to hear back from her because they landed and they got an accommodation, but they don't have internet set up. So the only communication was on my Instagram handle. And even if I had her Nigerian number, I couldn't have called her because it would be on um, Wi-Fi. She has to be on a Wi-Fi. So she, there was no communication. I had the address of the place way before she landed. But I also wasn't sure if um, I would be able to meet them at home. You know, you just don't boom from people anyhow. You just need to know if they are home so i waited and i had a lot of guests that i was hosting yesterday after church um so today she reached out to me they went to do their scene and she reached out to me that she could use the wi-fi at service canada and we plan to go visit so i'm on holiday today hobby is on holiday the children are home even though my son is still schooling from home but my daughter is on holiday so it's looking like it's a whole family visit thing. So I'm going to take you guys along, see what it looks like. I will be going out quickly. I just made um, lunch and I've eaten. I am full. So before I hear back from her when they get home, I want to quickly dash the store, grab some groceries so we can take that along the visit. You don't go empty handed to visit a newcomer, do you? Come on. They need all the support that they require. So we're going to do that little bit that we can and we'll go visit them. Still have a lot of things lined up. But is it only me? When I plan to be on holiday or when I plan that it is me versus me time. It just happens that so many things comes in the way. But what can we do? I initially planned that today it is all spent in my bed. In fact, I didn't wake up. Early. I woke up, you know, my inner clock had woken me up, you know, the way that you are used to a particular time that you wake up every day. And, of course, I knew there was no work now, so what am I waking up for? I just lounged in bed, and there I was still, almost about 9, I think 9 a.m., before I actually got up and went to have my bath. So, I had planned that I would come back to my bed, get into my cozy, cozy bed, and you know, just lazy around today, but hey, things just happen. And it wasn't a lazy day like I planned, but it's good. Anything to always be of help to someone is always my go-to. So guys, let's, um, let me go quickly rush to the grocery store, grab some items, and hopefully by then, the other members of the family will be ready, they will have eaten, and we will be able to go there. So see you guys soon. Good morning, guys. It's another day, another work day, guys. Oh my God, work has started, and it just seems like the holiday is so short. The holiday looks so short, even after it looked so long from the very beginning. Anyway, I was able to catch up with much of the things I needed to do and I have a lot of things just getting ready for work and, you know just putting all the things in place look how bright it is outside so bright beautiful so just setting up getting ready for today um it's going to be a busy week for me actually busy 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 week and I don't know God will help me. <laughs> but yesterday we still could meet the family that landed, went to their place. It was late for timing for them because they were actually getting back into sleep. It wasn't late for us, it was like 8 30. 
but so many things delayed they also were out all day and before we could catch up with them to know that they were home we also got into other things and well we eventually went but um we couldn't vlog they didn't want us to vlog but at least we went there it was a really sweet um reception it was good and there's a lot of things that newcomers need to know we shared a couple of those things we you know just let them into things that they could ask from open door society things that they could benefit from so that they're not left out or left in the dark they need to you know just hinge on all these benefits so that they can settle easily that's the first step as they get better jobs as they as they settle really well into their profession and areas of um, discipline then they know that those things they have to share it aside because if I had nobody will tell you <laughs> you will not be able to benefit from it anymore because then you become well maybe not high income earners but at least you have moved away from the low income bracket and we'll just leave those other benefits for those that are coming that's life you know you can't eat it all you just have to enjoy for the season and move on um so i just said i should catch up with you guys this morning before work gets really crazy because i know it is going to be crazy this whole week so guys hi guys i just want to do a quick video to share with you my backdrop so that you can see what i have behind me i've been trying to get something to you know just give that back end of my office space a different look and been trying all things I've been trying so many things I didn't want to go the expensive route and because I also love crafts I now wondered why didn't I do something like this myself so I shared in my last video or one of my videos um, ways in which children can engage themselves and I said look why not walk the talk so i went the route and i did this i'm going to show you guys how i went about it but this is how it looks this is how it looks and this is a combination of everything that has to do with one dollar fifty one dollar fifty items to start off my art project i had to use my Foam board which I cut into circles using the round um, base as a, a template for me to be able to get that size into that round base that serves like my frame then I used my pot mud pot to spread around it so that holds my glitters so I now had to sprinkle the glitters over the mud pod to hold those things together then i picked my um, white beads the beads um, i had to use the glue and my e6000 to keep them in in that space but somehow along the line while i was gluing it you can notice that they were really closely put together but i realized that i wouldn't have enough to go around my four um bases i decided to expand the spaces in between the beads to be able to give room for it to go around the four bays that i had which actually turned well eventually i know how to use my glitter ribbon tape the silver one it was actually silver the ribbon and i put it in between the beads to just give it that shimmery goldy effect then i sprayed the bays well actually i put the i sprayed before i put the silver at the tip so that's why it's a bit shiny then i used that little flower base stuff that I bought to give it that look and I sprayed it silver as well so that's the look of my design and I just put it behind my office space and that's the end product tell me what you think if you like it do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching see you again in another vlog bye guys